Ulnar dimalia, a rare congenital anomaly also referred to as mirror hand syndrome or mirror hand duplication, presents a complex duplication of the ulnar bone in the forearm. Unlike the typical anatomy where an individual has one ulna and one radius in each forearm, those with ulnar dimalia possess two ulnas, resulting in a mirror image duplication of the structures on the affected side. In addition to the duplicated ulna, other skeletal structures in the forearm and hand may also be affected. This can include duplication or fusion of the radius, carpal bones, and metacarpals, as well as abnormalities in the fingers. The severity of these anomalies can vary widely among affected individuals, ranging from mild duplication of certain bones to complete mirror imaging of the entire forearm and hand. The underlying cause of ulnar dimalia is not fully understood, but it is believed to result from disruptions in the normal embryonic development of the upper limb buds during early fetal development. These disruptions can lead to aberrant signaling pathways and molecular interactions that result in the formation of duplicate or mirrored structures. Diagnosis of ulnar dimalia typically occurs at birth or during prenatal ultrasound examinations. Management of this condition often involves a multidisciplinary approach, with orthopedic surgeons, hand specialists, and other healthcare professionals working together to address the unique challenges presented by the anomaly. Treatment may include surgical interventions aimed at improving function, correcting deformities, and maximizing limb appearance. Living with ulnar dimalia can present physical and functional challenges for affected individuals, as well as psychological and social implications. However, with appropriate medical care, rehabilitation, and support, many individuals with ulnar dimalia are able to lead fulfilling lives and adapt to the unique characteristics of their limbs. Given its rarity, research and understanding of ulnar dimalia remain limited. Further studies and advancements in medical imaging, surgical techniques, and rehabilitation strategies are needed to improve outcomes and quality of life for those affected by this complex congenital anomaly.